Wide-ranging tax cuts help the Conservatives? It depends on the reaction from consumers and business. Is this what they wanted, or would they have preferred the government go in another direction? We have some early samplings from CTV Vancouver Bureau Chief Todd Battis. Like any good timepiece maker, the folks at Sam Moritz Watches are obsessed with detail. They're particularly pleased with one facet they spotted in the economic update, the bit dealing with corporate taxes. It allows us to hire more, hire more Canadian employees. While based in Vancouver, Sam Moritz has a U.S. office and ships most of its watches abroad. Cutting the rate from 22 to 15 percent over a few years will make the company more competitive. U.S. workers are getting cheaper and cheaper as the dollar falls, so uh, as, as we get these cut tax cuts, it, uh, it, we can keep our head office here in, here in uh, Canada, and it definitely helps out quite a bit. Companies like Sam Moritz that manufacture consumer goods got another bit of good news. The people who buy their products, namely Canadian consumers, they're getting a break too. Great. Sounds good. A drop in the GST to 5% starting in the new year. January is when you get your bills. And I think it's wonderful that uh, we're going to get an extra tax break. Economists have debated the merits of a GST cut. It may be modest, but on the street and at the pumps, few are complaining. How can one say that's not a very positive, significant contribution to our economy? It'll stimulate spending, it'll create employment. An average family will save $300 a year. The right direction. The big savings come on big ticket items, like this Honda Accord. It's just around $30,600. So for a consumer looking at a 1%...